and let's let's start with Gleb. Gleb, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Awesome. Gleb, welcome. Huge Hello. fan of you. Hello. I love your master plugin. It's really, really helpful. Yeah. I mean, look at the background. Uh, <laughs> so cool. Like, what is this? <laughs> I made it specially for this presentation. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so cool. Uh, is it, yeah. Is it so, the master's, uh, master's plugin icon, uh, the logo? Um, no, it's just the Figma component and the frame. And, you know, you can, uh, with my plugins, you can turn this into this. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. I love that. That was already a great pitch. Thank you, Gleb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Good luck, Gleb. We can't wait to see what um, you have been working right. on. Let's uh, go. Let me share my screen. Mm-hmm. Do you see it now? Yes, all good. Okay, so I made this uh, new plugin um, inspired by my plugin master and kind of that works together with it. Uh, this plugin is called Fixed Detached Instances. Uh, as you know, detached instances are often um, a problem, <laughs> you know, so uh to improve consistency of your designs and to improve uh, the adoption of design systems uh, to basically uh, remove the detached instances and first of all find them and then remove them from your design to make them into components i made this plugin uh, this plugin shares the license with master together. So you buy master plugin and you get this plugin as well uh, because they work sort of in conjunction conjunction with each other. Uh, let me show you some examples to um, show how this plugin can be useful. So first of all, um, let's launch the plugin. Fix detached instances. Um, let's scan the file. And as you can see, at le it listed all the detached instances in the file. By the way, you can get this file by going here uh, in the plugin uh, uh, on the community page and opening it in Figma. So yeah, this is a playground file. Now, as you can see, it has uh these components that you can select here or here uh, they are detached and someone just wanted to improve the consistency i guess the composition uh, to the center and they move the text so uh, we don't really want that because it breaks the design system consistency and we can just reattach these uh while keeping all the overrides uh, like text and uh, password. Now they are consistent with the design system component. Now let's see another example. We can select an item here and zoom into it. So we have navbar, which uh, someone detached to move the icons around, but we can just swap the icons so Let's just reattach it back. And yeah, it keeps all overrides again. Now let's go here to this button. And <clears throat> here we have a little bit of a problem because someone detached a button and added an icon to this button. So uh, one thing we can do is either restore it to the original, uh, which is a button without icon, but uh, a button, a button with icon is kind of useful in the design system. So maybe you want to add it to the design system instead. And for this, you can use uh, Plugin Master, which you just launch it uh, and select Create Component from Objects. Um, by the way, there is another button, but yeah, it's fine. Let's create a component from this button. It keeps the button here in the um, UI 
and creates a new component here. And now we can just uh, cut it and paste it in the design system library in the variants here. My computer is a bit slow right now. <laughs> so yeah, um, we will need to reset it to the original um, to make it a little bit uh, to, to remove the text and uh, to make it a default state kind of, but uh, you get the idea. You can this way use master plugin together with fixed detached instances. Uh, first, you find the instances you want to attach, and then you can use either fixed detached instances to reattach all the icons, all the all the detached instances, or you can create new components using master plugin. So we can also select everything and just blindly attach, but people usually detach for a reason. So it's worth it to go and check um, why exactly, oops, <laughs> my, my, my background is falling apart. <laughs> Um, because frames are turning into components. <laughs> yeah, so you can find a couple more examples here, but um, I think I'm sort of running out of time here. So yeah, you can play with this file, but also keep in mind that uh, you only have five attachments for free. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Gleb, you just detached your components right there. It's done. Yep. Yep, yep, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, it's all perfect. Um, yeah, you can navigate and find detached instances and then choose what you want to do with them. Um, you, yeah, check out this plugin. You can find it, uh, here is the URL, dominate.design slash detached, or just, you know, search for it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Wow, great job, Gleb. How are you feeling after your elevator pitch? <laughs> great, my uh, background fell apart a little bit, but... <laughs> it's the demo effect. It has to happen at least once a day. So thank you on behalf of everyone yeah. else that's following to for us to get that out of the way. We really appreciate you. <laughs> Um, you know, as someone who uses master almost on a daily basis as a part of my design systems workflow, I, I know how powerful your tools are and I'm super excited to get my hands on this one. Um, you know, you. Any, anyone who's detaching instances, watch out, we're coming for you. The design systems yeah, team, we're yeah. coming for you. <laughs> yeah, it's happening. All right. Thanks so much. If you guys have questions for Gleb about the, um, plugin he just showed or any of the other work that he mentioned, feel free to drop it in the mural board under the pitch to friends or somewhere around there. And club will get in there and try to answer questions for you. Of course, you can go and find him um, on Twitter or other places. So thank you, club. <laughs>